Hello everyone, welcome to this GoSeals.com video. My name is Francesco and in this session we're going to cover tips for managing your email. Now, when it comes to email, we all know that it's used in everyday communication. And many people use email as this sort of storage shelter, being able to use it to just store to-dos, reminders, and even just as a storage point for files and also general communication with people. Whereas email should be focused around the experience of keeping it clean and removing any incoming um, items that are unnecessary. Now, when it comes to sitting down with your email, obviously you've joined this um, webinar uh, to sort of understand how to improve your email. So evaluating your usage is probably the first thing, first thing to start off with. So what you need to do is what do you use email for? That is a good starting point to understand that. Maybe you need a pen and paper for this one just to sit down and write these down. How many emails do you get a day on average? Maybe it's 70, 80, 90, uh, or even in the 200s. What tool do you rely on currently? Is there a specific feature inside that tool? Do you like to use a specific send later function? And what is your current email goal? Is it to get a clear inbox at the end of the day? Or is it just to uh, like interact with the most important emails? This evaluation of your usage will help you to kickstart your work. So in today's these uh, segments here, we're going to talk about Inbox Zero, checking your email and processing. So Inbox Zero is a theory that was created by a chap called Merlin Mann. Um, he basically came up with this concept of keeping your inbox um, at zero so that at the end of your day, your goal is to have nothing in your inbox. Uh, and you process your inbox into either tasks or activities that you can do later. Now, this sounds a bit mad, it's sort of from getting to zero from in thousands, so many of you probably are looking at your inbox going, how is this possible? I, I'm in thousands, two thousands. Well, it's important that you use a sort of process when you're using your email. So, processing your email to do storage points versus uh, having this long list of emails is probably something that you want uh, to advocate in your work. So, what I recommend is looking at Todoist for tasks. So Todoist is a task management resource that you can uh, add tasks to instead of store them inside of email and Evernote for any notes and documents that you have so that you can avoid uh, storing anything inside of email. So when it comes to checking email, uh, there's, there's sort of like a stigma around keep constant checking with it. You spend a lot of time in email anyway during your day because you naturally um, are fed emails throughout your day. It's important to implement a sort of routine with your email for me, I have a morning email check, which is about 10 to 20 minutes long, depending on how many emails I have from the day before. I check my email and I tend to just clear everything in the inbox then. Uh, this is in one big rally and usually uh, just after the first hour of my day. I try not to touch email in the first hour of my day just because uh, that can get messy. I do an end of the day check as well. So four, five o'clock, I'll have another check-in where I completely clear it out. And the goal here is I get to inbox zero each time. These sessions take about 20 minutes and the goal is to clear everything out versus avoiding any distraction. And then I only go into email uh, when it's project based or there's a reactional email uh, that is static that doesn't necessarily need a reply. Now you will probably, if you're trying to implement something like this, you're gonna make a few, few mistakes in the first few weeks, guaranteed. Um, so you need to be aware of those uh, mistakes um, and sort of constantly improve them. So when it comes to processing the email, this is probably more important than the actual checking part. Checking can be fine-tuned as we go, but when it comes to to-dos, being able to delegate tasks to Todoist is something that I advocate highly. If you're in your inbox and you see all of these tasks, like someone gives you a request or you have something else to do from someone else, being able to take those out of your email uh, archive that email or even save it into a folder and then just take the to-dos that you need to do and dump them into Todoist is something that I've found a lot of value from. For documents and notes, being able to send them over to Evernote straight away is something that I've uh, been gathering uh, a lot of value from because I don't have to go to my email to find everything, I can just go to Evernote and search for it. Now in terms of an inbox, when I'm in my inbox, I was saying I extract any actions or to-dos I save content to a secure location like Evernote. You can use something like Dropbox or even uh, Box or another resource. 
Um, and the aim is really to process everything and get to zero in the inbox. Now, there are some occasions where I'll find tasks that, of course, I'm like, oh, I could do that now. If they take two minutes or less, I'll tend to do them really, really quickly. Um, but I, I, that's only occasionally. I don't really advocate that much anymore. Now, there are some iOS solutions that you might enjoy. Newton, which I use uh, and I work with the team. Spark, Airmail uh, are great solutions as well. So these are great email solutions that you can go away and check out. Anyway, guys, I hope that gave you a few tips and tricks to using your email. Um, I hope it gave you some basics. Really try and focus on the goal of Inbox Zero. Uh, trying to understand that concept a bit more. Uh, the idea of checking, so being able to check your email less and also process that to certain locations versus actually um, having and storing your emails there. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this GhostSkills.com video. If you haven't checked out GhostSkills.com, they do our awesome resources, courses, and also content over on GhostSkills.com where you can start learning more information and growing your knowledge. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.